We are doing a squat snatch, bike, pistol, bike, squat snatch workout. Say that a hundred times fast. And Austin is going to do the blog version and Hunter is going to do the hatchet version. And I think that this is a really good workout for people to kind of get an understanding of what this scaling could and should look like. Yeah. And I actually think that based on these guys specifically, this will be a really good opportunity to see if they end up close to each other or at least with a very similar stimulus the whole time. It is certainly the appropriate version of the workout for me. Uh, I could do 20 squat snatches at 155. Like the weight's not an issue, but the intensity is. Also, I haven't done pistols since Mattis invaded Iraq in 2003, so. Since regionals? <laughs> yeah, since, since regionals. Um, but no, it's just, uh, it's just the appropriate scale for me. I think I can match, I'll be able to match Austin reasonably well, and it also allows me to set some goals with the barbell. Cycling 135 will be a little bit of a challenge, but much more doable than trying to do that with 155, which would just turn into singles, so. I will gain far more out of it with a lighter barbell, lower reps than doing the blog. I think you can get a lot of stability out of widening your feet and you can decide whether you want to keep them wide throughout the pull and the catch, you know, sort of Metcon style, but I think they should definitely be wider in your catch. Even though I'm, oh, just like in general or just keep the bar this day right okay. here, right now, this okay. movement. Metcon snatch is a wide range, but the concept is can you get, I don't care as much about skipping the hip as I do, can I be upright when I get here and then just kind of fall down and, Sneak and, 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 and get okay. back up. Um, but anytime I see an athlete who has like stinky leg or like going here or kind of wobbling around, I find that their hips and glutes aren't tight enough to like be in that position. And typically with someone like you, feet need to be wider. Okay. Three, two, one.
It's all legs. Uh, fuck, he was fast. I was hoping to catch up on pistols. I was only at like 20 or something when he was done. Uh, you were moving a lot faster than he was on the pistol. Well, my thought was faster on the back half of the workout, pistols were the workout, but I don't know. The bike was hard to maintain. I don't know what I would've done differently, but that was good. Not really a breather, just legs. If you can flush all you go, kind of what the bike is for, yep. but you still have to find that like, push a little bit to be competitive. That's tough. That was fun. I was in, pistols weren't as bad as I thought, and it was definitely, like I think he said, it's just legs, but it's happy because I set, set the goal of, Holding on unbroken on the first round, and then two sets, like at most on the second, but I, I got halfway through and I was just like, just, just fucking hold on. If you fail, you know where you're at. And so I failed my eighth one and just held on for, for two more, but. That was a good go though. Yeah, good effort trying to get 10. Yeah. Like why not? Right, yeah, 150, 155, that's not gonna happen. My time might've been faster if I did intentionally broke it up or even singles like if you're fast enough but I don't really gain anything by that I need I need to get better with the barbell so that's the goal that's what I did so I just I think it's super important to highlight stuff like this every once in a while because so many people are scared of scaling in terms of a specific workout or volume and no one's gonna watch this video and think oh Hunter didn't have a very hard workout there like he was gassed it's a really good workout for him and be a really good workout for anyone and I think that's, again, important to highlight when we have a community with, you know, skill levels that are, you know, from beginners all the way through CrossFit Games athletes. You got to find what works for you because in the end, that'll get you where you want to go as opposed to being worried about what other people are up to. So. Cool.